Hello there. Yes, indeed, as I'd mentioned, this weekend is the Eastern Orthodox Easter, Greek Easter for my family. So I thought I would do something kind of Greek uh, for you today. And I was going to do a Greek spanakopita. You probably have had this uh, in a pan. Maybe you've had it like little triangles. I'm doing it in a roll. Let me show you how I put all this together. These are all the ingredients that go into it. Leek and parsley and dill and scallions, spinach, of course. This is a Greek uh, kefalotiri cheese. It's a very sharp cheese. You can also use Parmesan if you can't find it. Of course, feta cheese and eggs and nutmeg and garlic, and this is the phyllo dough. This is a super, super thin dough that we make a lot of uh, the foods with. And let me show you how you assemble all of this. First of all, in the recipe that we've got on the web, I show you how to saute and prepare the filling, which I've already got done. But this uh, phyllo dough, you gotta keep it covered, otherwise it dries out, and it's super, super thin. So let me show you this paper-like filling here, uh, you just, you know, you lay it down on a flat surface. I'm going to do it just in this pan so it's not quite as messy on the desk. And I melted some butter. You can use olive oil to coat the sheet. I'm going to just fully coat it. I'm using a paintbrush. That's a lot faster for me than some of the little pastry brushes that are out there. And I'm going to do eight different layers of this phyllo dough. You just take that one, you lay another one right on top of it. Doesn't have to be super fancy because you're going to roll it up anyway. And you do the whole butter treatment again for the whole thing. You do about six or eight uh, sheets with the butter, olive oil uh, coating on it. Now what I've done is actually assembled the six or eight different layers here already because it takes a little bit of time. And I've also put some of the spinach, feta, leek, dill mixture on top of it. And you just lay it evenly throughout the phyllo dough. Just give it a really press it down good. And then you're going to roll it. You're just going to take one end of it. Here comes the tricky part on live TV. All right, here we go. Yeah, you just roll it. Roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it good. And this is how it's gonna come out, basically. So once you have this done, take a serrated knife, cut off, cut off the edges, so you can see the filling on it, and then score it. Just give it a couple of scores. Don't go all the way through, but you wanna put a little ventilation in there for when it goes into the oven. 400 degree oven for about 40 minutes. Uh, you're gonna put some more of this butter, just the butter olive oil right on top of it so it browns up uh, nicely. And let's see, you know, we've got our little toaster oven here. So we don't have a real oven, but I put this in about 30 minutes ago, 30, 40 minutes ago, something like that. And this is how it comes out. Nice and toasted brown, beautiful. And now we can cut all the way through. You really should let this cool for about 10, 15 minutes. But let me see if I can show you how beautiful this is. Look at that, look how nice that looks. Layers and layers and layers of the melted feta cheese, the spinach, the leeks, the onions. It is absolutely delicious. Now, uh, we've got something new that we're starting today. If you enjoy my cooking segments, uh, you can still get my recipes online at wgntv.com slash Dean Cooks. But now we will send you my recipes every week, just like we do with my movie reviews. All you have to do is text the word cooks to 97999 and you'll be on our mailing list and every week whatever I cook we'll send you for the recipe. Text COOKS to 97999 and happy Easter uh, to uh, all of our Eastern Orthodox friends celebrating this weekend. Let's see if Anna's calmed down a little bit. Back to around town. Hey, Anna. <laughs>